आप जब आए तो बोलिएगा इस बात को जब आपका बोलने का नंबर आएगा तो आप इस बात को बोलिएगा जी प्लीज डोंट टेक दिस आउट ऑफ माय टाइम सर देख लेंगे उसको देख लेंगे देख लेंगे उसको ठीक है देख लेंगे उसको यदि आपत्तिजनक बात होगी उसको देख लिया जाएगा ना प्लीज लव सर देख देख लेते हैं उसको देख लेंगे देख ना प्लीज सर डोंट टेक दिस आउट ऑफ माई टाइम सर इट्स गुड टू सी इन द न्यू चेयर इन द न्यू पार्लियामेंट सर आई थैंक द my party floor leader mitun reddy garu for allowing me to speak on the second day of the inauguration of this new parliament building sir from vyasa congress and also from all the members of lok sabha and rajya sabha we thank the achievements of isro we congratulate the achievements of isro we are indebted to all the scientific achievements they have done in the last 70 or so years sir when i was asked to speak on this subject the first quote that came to my mind was of uh, isaac newton sir when he said i was able to see further because i was standing on the shoulders of the giant sir it was able to, we were able to achieve chandrayaan mission because there were so many people that have contributed to it just now professor dada has uh, mentioned about vikram sarabhai satish dawan you are rao madhavan nayar kastur rangan because of what they have achieved in the, in the last 65 to 70 years shivan all these people have achieved and contributed to the frontiers of the space exploration sir because of them we were able to achieve chandra and mission to the moon sir and i also congratulate somnath and his team who was able to place a lander on the far side of the moon sir when i was watching it as a tech geek like all of us i was so happy for three different reasons sir the first one was it was launched from sriharikota andhra pradesh it's my telugu land sir and it has been found to be lucky for all the la launches and they have all been successful sir and the second reason that i'm really happy was because of when i was going through the profiles of all the contributors for this success all the scientists who were involved in this majority of them majority of them came from state university sir or engineering colleges run by state government sir it was a great achievement it, they didn't come from any iits or nit sir they just came from the state run uh, university sir third thing that we all should be happy is the participation of women in this uh, endeavor sir they all dressed in kanchi sarees very beautifully but they were having that vigor to make sure that our chandrayaan mission was very successful sir but there are lot of questions raised not in in the western media sir why india is doing this activity when there's so much poverty in the country for them sir the three reasons the first one being we want to cross the frontiers of the science and space exploration sir it won't happen just uh, just like that sir take for example as dada was mentioning earlier in 1965 we were a uh, human human was, a human was able to land on the moon sir but from the last 50 or 55 years the space exploration of most of the countries has actually gone back sir we we think just because we have something like a iphone in our hand iphone 1 to iphone 15 that actually uh, accidentally happens but it doesn't happen like that so unless some sort of uh, impetus is given some sort of uh, iteration is given at some point of time it doesn't happen just accidentally sir that's what has been happening in the space exploration and as a country that is growing as a country that is in the top 5 of the economies this is a time to actually push those boundaries sir and second reason being we have to dream big for the next generation and we have to prove to the next generation that anything can be possible in india sir but i being the member of uh, standing committee on education i was able to go through the funding that was available to most of the colleges that people like somnath has gone through sir like a uh, tkm college which was there in uh, prem chandran ji's uh, constituency sir there's a funding called rusa which was given to the state university sir allocation was around 
120 crores, sir. It was almost the same for the last four or five years. If you look at the spending, it's not even 60% of the spending is happening, sir. These are, this spending is expected to take the state universities, state-run universities, from where the scientists who are working in ISRO are coming from, sir. But somehow this funding is not able, not able to reach them. The reasons, whenever we ask them, the state is not contributing 30% or 40%. That is the reason that they always come up with, sir. But who is the person that are actually losing, sir? It's the scientific community of this country. So I hope the, I hope the minister was here. Uh, uh, but I hope the, the point is taken so that the scheme can be altered, so that the maximum amount of funds can be utilized by all the state universities and state governments, sir. And coming to the women participation, Sheshi Taruji has mentioned uh, about it, and uh, there were some comments from the other side also, sir. There's 20 to 25 percent of the women participation in ISO, which has a workforce of almost 16,000, sir. And if you look at the STEM graduates from India, women STEM graduates who are pursuing science, technology, and engineering in India, 43 percent of them are women, sir. When you compare to US, it is only 34 percent. When you compare to the developed countries like Canada, it's only 31 percent. Even in UK, it is only 38 percent, sir. We are far, far, far ahead, sir. But, and also 30 percent of the research papers across 186 fields, this uh, information I got it from Scopus, sir, are being published by women, sir. But only 14 percent even though there's 43 percent of them are STEM graduates, or of them are women, only 14 percent of the women are participating in STEM-related jobs, sir. This, we are, we, we are, we, yesterday we were uh, very proud that we have passed the uh, Women Reservation Bill, sir, but these people are putting the effort for almost 15 to 16 years to graduate, coming out with these degrees, but not able to participate in this workforce, sir. Unless we come up with new schemes to encourage them, unless we place the money where we talk, this, uh, this situation is not going to increase, sir. And third, this, uh, Minister uh, Jitendra Singh is also here, sir. It, comes, it, it is regarding National Research Foundation, sir. I wish um, somehow every Friday the House get adjourned, sir, and uh, he always gets the time, to, uh, we always get the time to ask him the question only on the Friday, but somehow it gets adjourned and we never get to ask the question. But National Research Foundation, uh, it's been envisaged almost four years back with the outlay of 50,000 crores that has been mentioned. And until now, not a single rupee has not been, correct me if I'm wrong, but not been uh, actually given out to any of these uh, uh, IITs or NITs or any of the state-funded universities, sir. For the last four years, that these, all these institutes have been uh, actually waiting for it, sir. Mike, Mike, please. We can't hear. Yeah. Mike, sir, Mike. Please. Because, right. Because uh, it's, it's, it's still being structured. So when my turn comes to speak, I'll elaborate on that. Yes, sir. I'll also elaborate on, because out of this 50,000 crores, we thought it's all coming from the state government, sir. But we have been told that 36,000 crores are supposed to be Absolutely. mobbed up from the private. I yes. don't, uh, if you can give us yeah, the modalities I'll, I'll of how you're going to raise it. I don't it. want to interrupt you, no. So I'll elaborate when my turn comes. Yes, because right. I, I, almost 36,000 will be from non-government sources. That's the difference now. Because yes, Dada, please, Dada, Bede, please. Because sir, we are actually at the one of the lowest globally, sir, with respect to the spending on the. Uh, research, only 0.7% of the GDP is, is spent on the research, sir. So that's why I expect the minister to answer it when, uh, uh, elaborate it when, you, when you're speaking of it, sir. And uh, the other point being, uh, I've been speaking to a lot of the startups who are in the space exploration, sir, and most of them have come up with a, a request. We are, you are doing PLI, professional link incentive scheme, for all the industries coming from food sector to steel and every other industry, but somehow this PLI scheme is not being implemented for the space technology, sir. So if the minister can actually take it up. And also this, uh, the second suggestion that they came, came up with is regarding uh, GST exemption, exemptions for uh, private satellite launch service providers, sir. There's a company called Skyroot, you know, which is based out of Hyderabad. They're trying to, you know, the most of the cost that uh, happens is during the launch, sir. And this, uh, this company, Skyroot, is trying to reduce the cost, like how uh, SpaceX is doing. 
but indigenously they're trying to reduce it. So if some sort of a, uh, encouragement can be given uh, with regards to this, uh, that will be a big favor to them, sir. Because uh, let me put this on record, sir, because there's no uh, disrespect to our scientific community or anything like that, sir, but if you look at GSLV Mark 4, correct me if I'm wrong, it, it can only put four tons into the geostationary uh, uh, orbit, sir. Whereas Long March 5, which is the Chinese one, can put almost 14 tons satellite in the, in the same orbit, sir. And also in the lower orbit, uh, GSLV Mark 4 can only uh, place 7 tons of the satellite, sir. Whereas Long March 5, which is of the Chinese one, can put almost 25 uh, tons in the lower orbit, sir. Because there's, there's a huge uh, difference in our payload capacity and their payload capacity, sir. This can be... Uh, closed down only if the participation of the private players in this whole thing, sir. So I wish uh, the government, yes, we, our, community, our scientific community is doing exceedingly well with the uh, uh, frugal uh, funding that is available for them, sir. But they will do much, much better if the funding can be increased, sir, and also if the private participation is increased, sir. I will end up by saying uh, what our Prime Minister has, uh, I keep on quoting, Abhi samay hai aur sahi samay hai. I think this is the right time for all of us to do because India being a country with young population, with a lot of aspirations. So this is the right right time for the treasury benches to actually put the money where they are talking, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Honorable Member Pradhav Rao Jatav.